Oh, are these all the translucent ones? They are. They are all the translucent ones. There they are, there's the hollow ones. Oh yeah, oh yeah, second one, favorite. Favorite Assassin's Creed by far, next to at least Brotherhood. Of course, I also ran into problems with trying to stream Brotherhood, but eh, it's fine. That was actually the one I was hoping to get into, was Brotherhood. It was uh, very, 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 like, end of the, of the list of technical games that are considered uh, retro at the moment. I don't know. I don't know why why they would put translucent housing. The, 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 that's like one of the things I was talking about a while ago. They don't really have they ha they don't have much. They've got some things like don't get me wrong like they got this big old honking house right here. But why they have translucent home? I don't know why. Gonna make that guy a high horse. A high horse. Uh, five games with Desmond in them. So he had to do like Assassin's Creed 1, which was Altair. Air. Then there was Ezio. And then lastly, there was Connor. But by far, Ezio is my favorite as well the best assassin there we go fits if it fits it sits That one, or are you talking about the ones for Assassin's Creed uh, 3? The one where uh, where you had to go against George Washington? Because I never, I, I, that I never actually got into. Okay. I know that there were a few, um, uh, there were also a few that 
didn't they didn't they didn't use the same Assassin's Creed engine anymore. They were kind of a 2D side scroller. I think some of them were like PSP and then Game Boy and PS, but then they ended up uh, putting them on Xbox or some crap. I feel like that was also something that that that, that also happened with uh, Assassin's Creed. think that like Assassin's Creed is probably one of those games that they definitely did keep coming out with a brand new one like every single year and I just feel like that was the case and even more so when like um, when Origins and then came out because I've seen uh, I've seen my girlfriend play uh, Origins and Valhalla I'm not particularly the biggest fan of those ones. They look fun. They look amazing. They just, I just don't. It, it just, it's not like the same kind of. Uh, it's not the same kind of um, Assassin's Creed I've known to. Kind of like a brand new type. Sort of wish there was more Templar-based adventures like we're all feeling. You know, I never actually got it. That, that was a, God, there's actually a lot of Assassin's Creed's I never got into. Yeah, that was another one. Uh, Rogue, I never got into. Uh, like, I finished, uh, I finished three, and I walked away from the, uh, I walked away from the franchise altogether for like the longest time. And around that time, that's when Rogue came out. And so I still, I still vividly know that I've never played Rogue. I think Black Flag might have came out before Rogue did. But I remember I remember only partially playing Black Flag because I have it on the Switch and I gave it a test and I wanted to see if it was any good. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Very piratey. I'm just not into the I like the ship. I like the ship idea. It's just too. It was too much ship for me. Cause like um, when they brought up the ship in three, in Assassin's Creed three with Connor, it was not fun. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, because isn't, uh, isn't Rogue basically, like, talking about his dad and stuff like that? Boom, boom. Hmm, I'm wondering, should I increase? 
increase the thinking about it, you know, um, well, one of the things with running Assassin's Creed was also uh, planning on, like, uh, running through Assassin's Creed. I will never play one. <laughs> I'll never play one again. But, um, I was gonna give, I wanted to give two, and then Brotherhood, and then go up the list, hit three, and keep going and going and going from there. Uh, but <laughs> two is just being a pain in the butt. And I'm gonna have to catch up with it anyway and then when it comes to brotherhood for some reason my activation key isn't working so i have to i have to send support help from uh ubisoft and figure out how to get my activation key back i don't know what the hell's going on with that it may also play into pack that i've i when i bought assassin's creed brotherhood i never activated it because i didn't think ubisoft was going to give me some kind of activation key I'm trying to wonder I'm wondering if I should put more low income housing or high income housing the idea is that he is stealing the monies uh, I mean to be honest dog, the, the games have been out for so long it I can't get spoiled with it. it I, I've i had so long to get into uh, Mirage. I have, I've had so long to get into um, Rogue that it doesn't matter with me. That one doesn't matter. I do... Uh, I will say, though, I don't own them all. So if I were to get into them, I'd have to, I'd have to start buying some more. Um, but at the moment, I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to wonder... Um, if I should put more low-income housing, or if I should hit this bitch with some medium-income housing, because I'm feeling like medium's gonna be nice, but... Ooh, low-income housing. Low-income housing, it'll look a lot prettier. Yeah, 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 yeah. What little buddy? Let's go back up. Nope, oh, no problem. Go ahead and get some dinner. I'll see you in a little bit, friend.
And I got a few ideas to help motivate my players and to uh, help me. There we go. That's a bit more connected. Alright, let's get it. Ooh, she's looking pretty. She's looking pretty already. mean it's any better it's just more compact Super wealthy people now. That way. 